Manalauger and we just stopped here kind of like at the top of this hill and we're just looking at the glacier and like all the mountains around us and uh, out here when you start going out like uh, towards the countryside instead of saying by Reykjavik it's a lot more windy and colder and a lot colder so 40 mile an hour winds and I can hardly stand and it's you know pretty chilly so make sure you come prepared and if you plan on shooting any videos bring a microphone with a wind cover because you're not going to be able to it's hear any dead cat It's like we're at a beach. It's, yeah, it's cold. Oh my god, Ruben, why is it so windy? Oh, it wouldn't be that bad. I can handle cold, but the wind, holy crap. Close your window. I think we're in for a bumpy ride. As you can see, it's right down there, and this water right here is literally crystal clear. It's coming straight from the glacier, and because of that, it is very cold. And if you want to take a swim, you can, but I do not recommend it. It is. It's very. We're talking about how we had to buy a shelter from the rain and the, and the wind. Yeah, so we had to bring out the rain jackets because they actually started downpouring a lot heavier now. That's the thing with Iceland. The weather can change whenever and wherever. <laughs> so. Pretty much, you always have to be prepared. I can barely talk because my lips are freezing over, if you can hear my lisp. So, <laughs> like, even though the weather says it's like 38 degrees, 40 degrees, the wind chill brings it all the way down to like 10, 20 degrees, maybe 15 degrees, and we're not prepared for that kind of temperatures. But man, it is cold. Bring gloves. Make sure you bring gloves because this is my biggest regret. He has gloves and I do not, and my hands are freezing. you guys can see is just driving on some random roads here in Iceland. You can literally just stop on the side of the road, take a little like uh, gravel trail, and you'll end up at a beautiful waterfall right behind me. And you know, it's just stuff like this that you literally could, it's like the road is right there, the main road, and it's just like a hidden location. I mean, it's not really hidden, but we didn't even know it was here, and we just ended up seeing a bunch of cars yeah, stopped on the we, road. We don't know what it's called, we don't know where this is, we just happen to find it. Yeah, so that's the beauty of Iceland, it's all over. Here I have a beautiful bench for taking a nice time lapse off the GoPro on the water.
even during the summer solstice, there still is a bunch of snow everywhere, especially when you start heading out of Reykjavik. You start, you're gonna be able to see all the snow caps and all the mountains all around. And in some places, it's even still snowing during the summer. So that's a cool thing to know. And this landscape, I can't get enough of it. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Hey guys. Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> my hands. There's a lot of people walking ready. here. Why are they walking here? <sighs> so, what happened there? We went down by the water. Uh, it was really cold and really windy. I can't feel my hands anymore. And he had gloves. I did. <laughs> yeah, I, I at least had gloves. We're taking all these like scenic stops. We don't even know like that all the stuff was on the way, but we just ended up finding it. And here's like this very big river. It kind of connects over there. There's like a small waterfall, which is really cool. Really cool, awesome. Everything is very cool and awesome over here. I mean, you got a bunch of people biking on the road, which I would not be able to survive. It's very windy. It's raining. It's like everything's just being thrown at you in Iceland. And if you're not prepared, you're going to struggle here for sure. It's very cold too. It is cold. Yeah, right. Lan Manalaujer. So, me and Dylan decided to take the scenic view while we're going uh, on these gravel roads. And let's just say the scenic view is very scenic. It's actually, it's quite bumpy, but it's a lot more comfortable being out here like this than it is to actually be inside the car. And it's a lot more fun too. Yeah, it's a lot more fun. So, uh, yeah. 
We're probably gonna fly the drone around here, but as you can see, we are almost at Land of Mana Lauger. Uh, we're very close. I think like eight more minutes. I actually think I see them right over there. Yeah, they're right but over there. Unfortunately, the, there's not that much sunlight out today and uh, it's quite snowy still. But at least the wind died down, thankfully, so we can fly the drone a little bit. Yeah, even it's not if as it cold get anymore. Wet, yeah. yeah, it's not that cold anymore. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, search and rescue just went through here, so, it was so hopefully nothing bad happened, but So, it is very beautiful here, and uh, we're on one of the trails on House of Fjord, what was it called? Land Managlaur, something like that. Land, Mag Land Managlaur? Ma Land Managlaur? Land Managlaur? 
That's okay, we just added it in. Land Mana... We're here at Land Mana Galaur. I think, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it is. Land Mana Galaur. Yeah. Land Mana Galaur. And uh, yeah, we're taking this little trail. Uh, we stopped at this little viewpoint to take a look at this mountain over here to our right. Uh, it's one of the colorful mountains uh, that are here. However, it is not like the rainbow colored ones that are straight ahead of us or to the left of us. Uh, fun fact, actually, that these mountains change their colors and their colors are from the difference of activity in geothermal temperatures and geothermal activity. So like different temperatures make different colors and different densities and all that type of stuff, right? Yep, and uh, I still think it's very interesting because uh, like all this stuff that you see all around here, this all used to be like hot, like magma coming in, coming out of the earth and now it's lava and now it's cooled down and now it's just beautiful. So as you can see right behind me is the Rainbow Mountain, which is like the big attraction here for Land Managalaur. And I actually found some uh, interesting facts about it. So the volcanic rock is made out of rhyolite and the mountain can come in over five different colors, red, blue, pink, green, and yellow. And it, set, it sits next to a dark black lava field known as Log Ahran. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but and that's yeah. where we are right now. Yeah, and uh, this the the warm geothermal pools, as you see, uh, as we recorded down below that little hot spring that everyone's taking a bath in. Uh, that's all heated by lava that's actually underground here, and it's really awesome because I don't know all the water here. You can just stick your hands in it, you can drink out of it, and it's all super warm and it's all super healthy and clean. It is very cool. So guys, as you can see, these are some of the geothermal vents that cause the rock colors of uh, this mountain here to change different colors, different temperatures, different densities and pressures of these geothermal vents uh, cause the different coloration of the rocks. And this is all coming out, all the steam and all this heat's coming out because there's actually a lot of lava still right underneath us, uh, which is really cool. But yeah, see, as you can see, the steam is like 80 to 100 Celsius which is like boiling point in Fahrenheit, I think. Yeah, 100 degrees Celsius is boiling point in Fahrenheit, so. Don't touch it, it'll give you 30 degree burns. Yeah. We 
have finally made it to the top, right next to the Rainbow Mountain. Right next to a, I didn't even know this was here, but a geothermal vent. It is a huge opening in this vent. Uh, it smells like sulfur, but luckily I don't have a sense of smell, so it doesn't affect me that much. It just keeps me nice and warm. But yeah, no, this Rainbow Mountain is something to behold. That's for sure. We're about to show you guys some clips of it and it looks absolutely beautiful. They actually just recently, uh, they put up a sign saying that the trail just got extended 50 meters in an opposite direction to protect uh, the geothermal vent and nature. So that's very important because, you know, if you don't protect the nature, then you won't be able to come here on your vacation and see all this stuff, right? We're on our way back right <laughs> the flies. So we're on our way back right now and the sun actually just came out for a little bit and we were able to see this lake with the reflection of the sun and the clouds and it looks a lot better now than it does than it did when we were coming up here because when we were coming up here it was kind of gloomy, it was raining. But now as soon as we leave, of course, it starts looking very nice. The weather is becoming almost perfect. But just the calm serenity of just driving through Iceland is something you really have to experience. Just turn around, oh, flip bro. off the camera. <laughs> Back the fuck up. <laughs> That's gotta be the outro. That's, that's gotta be the outro.